hello and welcome to my youtube channel learn to code hope you guys are doing great so in today's video we are going to discuss about the further things in c plus plus and we are going to study that uh, how can we take the input and how can we declare and initialize a variable in a single line and what is the concept of endl that we have used in the previous video for breaking the line so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe my youtube channel learn to code and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my youtube channel so let's get started so first thing you have to open your compiler developer c++ i've opened the compiler now we are going to create a new source file then we need to add the header files hash include input output stream then hash include conio dot h then using namespace std then you have to write the main function and our main function is integer of the main this one is our main function then last line get ch now uh, you just need to check out that the thing that how can we declare and initialize the variable in a single line so for declaring or initializing the variable in a single line you have to use a single line syntax that is if i want to declare a variable with the data type integer i want to write its name so i want to create a variable uh, with the data type integer and the variable name is number so number is equal to 90 so I have declared and initialized the variable in a single line. So I am going to console output the statement C out number. Now I am going to press F11. Then you can see 90 is visible on my computer screen. <coughs> now uh, what is the use of endl? So basically endl is a reserver that is used in C++ and it is used for breaking any kind of line because uh, in a programming language you have to declare you have to tell the thing that you are going to break a line now on to the next step so for that purpose you must use endl for breaking the line so c out number and i'm going to break the line and in the next line i'm going to console output a statement and you must know that in, in the case of statement we have to embed the statement in the double quotations we have studied in the previous lecture so we can write welcome to my youtube channel welcome to my youtube channel so now uh, you just need to create the f11 and you will see that it's breaking the line after the 90 and now we are going to uh, check out on an other thing that how can we take the input from the user so let's delete the line number 7 and 8 and I've declared a variable uh, with the data number so number and now I'm going to take something inside this number so for that purpose console output please enter a number in number so now uh, console input C in and this keyword is used for taking any kind of input inside your any kind of variable so in my case I my variable name is number and I just want to take the number inside it so C in number and after taking the number I'm going to console output the number so I'll take a number F11 so you can see please enter number 77 so or you can alternately go with the statement that number is so, number is F11 number is 77 so that's all from today's video Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do subscribe my YouTube channel. Learn to code and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.